Okay, everyone, I'm back at it today. Um, and I am going to start removing the firewall on the 68 GTL. This is going to take some time because I don't want to damage the cow panel. This panel here is going to be replaced. I have a new one. Um, but this panel here is not. So what I have to do is make sure I am very careful when removing the spot welds along the side here and not damaging the, uh, the front panel here. Um, I'm going to be removing the firewall like I said. So right down in here along the body mount it's going to be a little tricky to get in there to to remove it but i would definitely uh take my time in removing that panel so i do not damage it the other thing i'm going to be doing is removing the firewall from the inner panel here I'll give you a better shot so uh i was doing my spot weld cutter and I drilled through but like I said I'm going to be replacing the cow panel and the firewall so it didn't really matter that much um, but now going into it I'm going to be a little more careful a lot more careful actually when removing that panel so again I got to be uh, very cautious because some panels I'm not going to be removing and some panels I will I don't know quite yet how exactly I am going to separate the firewall from the inner dash panel. Um, I think what I'm going to do is get in there with a grinder and grind gently uh, away. Uh, see there's some spot welds like right in here. Again that I did not want to go in because I don't want to damage the panel. Um, these are high they don't really show on the camera but they're high I'm gonna grind them down because that's where the original spot welds was for the cow panel I cleaned up this area here where the cow panel was um, I actually have to do a lot more cleaning but right here there's some rot so what I'm gonna be doing is stitch welding this and grinding it smooth trying to clean this up a little better so I have a nice uh, flat surface to uh, install my new cow panel but that won't be for a little while um, this here is my dash that I uh, actually um, started cleaning up which was all rotted away but uh, like I said, I have another panel, a windshield panel to correct that issue. Again, a lot of welding and a lot of removing. But here we go. We're going to get started and I'll keep you up to date on how we're doing this. flattening this edge out because this edge was curled up um, from the factory putty that they put here and I wanted to flatten it out so what I can do is get my chisel in here and tap it down and separate it gently um, like I said I don't want to damage this panel here which is inside the car um, I drilled the welds to remove the cow panel but <clears throat> I didn't realize this was weld from underneath as well and it's hard to get underneath with my spot weld cutter under here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my grinding disc or my cutting disc actually and go in there and just gently cut away the spot welds I noticed there isn't that many holding this uh, in but that's what I am going to be doing. Um, 
again, I will uh, show you my progress as we get it along further and further. All right, just wanted to give you an update. Started taking apart the uh, firewall. I uh, removed spot welds here um, down to this point here. And I'm going to be um, removing a couple more spot welds up here. It's still a little, little tight. Um, there's one or two back in here. I made this a little loose. You can't really see now, but uh, it's still locked in uh, fairly well with spot welds. I did all around the wiper motor assembly there. Uh, remove those spot welds up underneath. You have you have some as well. I got to do. I just wanted to give you an update. I'm going to be starting to work <coughs> in this area here and a couple spot welds there as you can see remove them and then uh, I think it was easier to remove this bracket because they're spot welded behind it as well so I think I'm going to be doing that and then continuing removing more spot welds all right here we go okay I wanted to show you the progress that I've made on the firewall removal over here pretty much we removed all the spot rivets um, holding on the firewall so I'm down to this part here where is the uh, the mounting bracket and I gotta grind all this away um, and cut you know whatever I need to do to remove those rivets and separate it from the rest of the body um, I, like I said I removed all these uh, pop rivets are ready to go and all along here it's loose it's removed um, again just gotta pry it apart but they're all all removed all the way down um, this side was very difficult to remove because the spot welds were really big um, and a lot of them and then I'm over here I'm coming down again I'm at this part I got to remove one more spot weld there and then remove this side and then I'm going to come underneath the body and start removing that so here we are with the removal of 1968 GTO firewall. On this side the right side driver side of the firewall and I just separated right here the firewall from this panel the inner cow panel um, I need to cut a couple more welds on the bottom I just want to show you the damage that was done. We get out of the light here. Damage that was done prior to the um, to the uh, firewall. Before you see, the whole floor pan was cut out. That right there is the motor mount that was cut in order to put the old floor pan in. So I am going to be replacing all of that. And I wanted to show you over here, uh, if you look, this is the part of the, uh, the original body mount. 
that was cut um, right here. This was cut out, as you could see. But that's the end of the original um, body mount. Now, the, the thing that I'm doing, I just wanted to say what I'm going to be doing. Let me get my pointer. I'm going to be separating this right here. Uh, let me see if you can get a view of it. Right here, this part here is the firewall that's attached to the rocker here. Um, I got to drill a spot weld here and a spot weld right here. And I think there's one right here. And then this should be able to drop. But because the, um, the, uh, the previous owner replaced this floor pan, it, it, it's all welded. Let me see if I can show you. It's all welded right here, all the way across. Uh, you see that, that weld? And uh, what I am going to be doing is once I, once I separate this part of the firewall, this is not going to be um, tied in anymore. So I haven't braced it yet because I'm not at that point where anything will shift and cause any damage. But I will be bracing um, this uh, side over here to the other side with some rods. Uh, I, I think I'm going to use actually these bolt holes um, that are here for the fender. Um, and I'm going to go across and, and make that work. I, I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'm going to weld anything permanently. So if I need to remove it to get access to it, it'll be easy. Just loosen some bolts and drop it down. Um, the other thing I'm going to be doing is once I have this separated and the other side separated, I am going to cut the floor pan right here all the way across. And then this whole panel, the whole firewall will be able to drop out. So that's where we are now. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave me some and I'll make sure I answer every single one. Okay, well, I wanted to uh, let you know the the type of tools that I'm using to remove this firewall. Um, it might come in handy uh, if you do decide to do your own project. I have a lot of tools. Um, I, uh, you always need more tools. But I wanted to uh, show you. This is my drill with my uh, spot weld cutter on the tip there. Um, I'm using two grinders. This is a cut a grinder with a cutting wheel, super thin for uh, grinding and cutting the spot welds that I can't reach with my spot weld cutter. This here is a, a vibrating tool. Again, if I can't get in with my grinder or my spot weld cutter, I'm using this uh, fine tool to get in there and uh, cut the spot welds out without damaging other panels and then this one here is another grinder of mine and I have a grinding wheel to grind down the spot welds um, this here I have my air uh, cutter again I can't get in tight spaces with that I do have another grinder but it's not set up yet I will have that in another day or so um, but you know, it's, it's air, it's beautiful, cuts super fast. Um, I feel I have more control with my grinder and the cutting wheel. Um, but like I said, you know, every, to each his own, everyone has their own preferences. Um, but those are some of my tools that I'm using to remove the firewall and uh, the dash panel. So. I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, uh, cut all the welds over here, so it's all separated from the cow panel, the inner cow over here, um, and this is all all loose here. Sorry about the sun glare. Um, all my rivets. Sorry, all my spot welds are all drilled out, removed. Over here, this gave me a really hard time. Uh, 
there's a lot of welds there. And got to this point here. Like I said, this, uh, this is all separated. As you can see, I could, uh, everything is moving. The only thing I have to do now is um, cut the floor from the inside and then I can remove it. But that is going to be uh, a little difficult because, let me show you over here, because um, what the previous owner did was when he installed the floor pan, he actually welded right in here tight to this. So I have to be very cautious on how I'm going to remove that. Then I'll be able to drop that pan out of there. What I think I'm going to do is cut it um, just shy of where the actual original floor pan meets the firewall. Um, might cut it about an inch back about here all the way across and then that way I could remove that whole panel the reason why I'm gonna do that is because I want to make sure that the original firewall uh, it will mate up to the aftermarket firewall which obviously I've read a lot of uh, blogs that it doesn't really fit and you have to make it fit. Uh, okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to cut it about here, okay? I want to leave this area because I want to try to mate the new firewall to the existing floor pan, which is this right here, but I am going to be replacing it. But the reason why I'm doing that, let me get out of that the light here. The reason why I am going to be doing that is because I uh, I want to make sure it fits first. So I'm going to cut it, like I said, like right about here, all the way across, clean this all out, see what I can do. It's already free from every from the sides. So, I mean, uh, this is a task all in itself. So Let's get started. First, safety. Uh, we're gonna put on my safety glasses. And I'm gonna put on my, sorry, my face mask here, my dust mask. Put on my safety glasses. Put on my gloves. Let's start cutting. Let's do it.
The left side is cut completely, and now I have to cut the right side. So, I'll be right back. Make sure I'm through. So. <coughs> yeah, I think I am through. I could uh, remove it from the other side. Okay, I have to apologize for the lighting. Everything looks kind of orange. Um, but what I wanted to say is I cut everything away from the sides in the floor pan. Now I'm ready to remove the uh, firewall. I clamped it here so it doesn't drop and I clamped it here so it doesn't drop. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove this clamp here, hold it. It's ready to come out. I mean I, there's really nothing holding it except for that crossbar that I put underneath to um, keep the bottom from spreading. So here we are, the moment of truth, I just hold it here, put my leg there, okay, should, should come out fairly easily, yeah. persuasion here. here because this is the the floor pan that the previous owner welded in there so I have to clean that up really well and, and then uh, do that on the other side as well and I'm gonna try to fit the new firewall in there but I have a lot of cleaning up to do obviously here I got to grind it clean and all other things like that so there's gonna be a lot of prep work before I'm ready to fit the new firewall but uh, like I said it, this is a tedious job it took me probably a good eight hours uh, to remove this firewall uh, just drilling it out cutting it making sure I don't damage other parts um, but let me know what you think please like and subscribe